<laughs> if they want to And welcome to Let Them Talk. I'm Paul DiRienzo. And I'm Miss Joan Marie Moosey. And we have a great show today lined up. And uh, our first of two guests who are waiting for the second guest who's on our way is Fernando, who is a uh, artist and a, a graffiti artist, really, and a graffiti artist. But graffiti art is really trans yeah. transformed, you know, mm -hmm. from kids spray painting on trains to now it's real art in galleries and people uh, enjoy it and use it to decorate huge spaces, public spaces. They they purchase it and put it up in a place to be seen by the public. That's the new graffiti. So uh, it's come a long way since I was a kid and 30, 40 years ago when people used to bemoan it on the su city subway system. Well, it's come a long way since then. So welcome, thank Fernando, you. joining us. Yeah, thanks, for thanks for coming. for having me. And uh, my, like you said, Mike will be here shortly. Let, uh, let's begin by uh, letting us know a little bit about what you're doing. I have some videos. We're going to show some examples of your art a little bit later. Uh, tell because us they some, currently have a big yeah, piece tell us what you at, currently the, have, yeah. at the Woodward uh, Exterior Project space. It's like a billboard space. It's yep. done in four panels. Yep. And what you've got up there right now is called Eye of the Beholder. Yep. It's absolutely beautiful. Everybody should go down and see it. It's on Eldridge Street, just below Delancey. Yeah, 133 Eldridge. Yep. And it's right across from the Woodward Gallery, mm -hmm. which, of course, also has a beautiful show that you should go Amazing. in and see. So um, tell us a little bit about how you got involved in this particular project and uh, what the painting is about. Um, in this particular project, uh, we've got to give thanks to Matt Siren. He's an artist that currently is repped by the Woodward Gallery, uh, Matt Siren and Dark Cloud. Um, they recommended us to uh, work on this particular project that um, has been going on, you know, for a couple of years. I believe that we're the 13th um, set of artists that have worked um, on this project and yeah, and it's sort of like a billboard across the street from yeah, the gallery. Yeah, they they provided you know four panels for us. I believe they're four by six feet, four of them, so it's sixteen feet long. Imagine you know how it's big the amount of space it took up in our studio and um, and looking at that blank, trying exactly, to decide trying what to, to figure do, out right? what to do, <laughs> what, how much color to overlay, how much of it to keep. Um, Mike conceptualized um, the piece um, in the beginning as far as design um, and layout. And then we both, you know, went in and added detail and all our, you know, components that kind of made up the piece, you know, keeping it centralized, you know, your focal point, which is like your eye, and that's like the nucleus. And then as it just radiates out, whether it be, you know, information, politics, and, you know, whatever. So that's sort of, you know, we, we kept that in mind, but we also wanted it to be funky and we wanted it to represent... You we're know, looking at we it right do. now, by the way, Fernando. It's oh, on the, nice. We're, we're broadcasting an example right now. Maybe you could tell folks a little bit about what they're watching right now. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at the, you know, the panels, all the dyes and all the, the discoloration. That's like natural wine and coffee and, you know, wood yeah, Your staying. technique on this is really interesting. And we do have a video we're going to show of yep. you working on it and doing the installation. But it, you see, it seems to be multimedia in a... Yeah, I mean, really literal sounds. You know, from I mean, we worked with projectors. We worked a little bit with silk screen, and you know, the majority of it is all hand painted. So we and there's markers and there's markers. You know, we try to like it's like using all your senses mm -hmm. to like feel something out. We use you know all the tools that we have in order to like achieve what we're trying to do. So in order to you know r stay graffiti, the element of graffiti is in there, and the spray can and all that. In order to stay you know abstract and all that you know you have all those elements there that you know represent us and and it really know. tells a story i mean it's it's in four panels there's focal points and then it branches out like you were saying mm -hmm. um tell us what was in your mind to what is what was it you were trying to achieve what was your mission with this particular piece um i mean with this piece we definitely wanted to do something completely different you know we wanted to work out of our realm away from you know a predominant silk screen piece you know taking more time more conceptualization so you so know you there really seize the opportunity yeah, there was a to branch out yeah completely different approach to this piece you know not only because it's a woodward um you know project and all these other great things but it was just a way for us to you know really challenge ourselves and push the bar and you know just do something we don't normally do 
you know, so... Well, I think that's great, because when you get an opportunity to play it safe, always seems like the wrong idea to oh, me. Oh, of know? course. I mean, we could have took the easy route. This is a panel from that scene. This is a close-up of a panel yeah, from that's in Yeah, that's in our studio. Um, you know, a live shot, you know, up against the wall. I mean, our studio is probably 25 by 13. We just moved, but that particular studio was that size, so that took up the whole entire floor uh, when we worked on it, you know. So, um, and I can see who's the figure, who rep who's represented by the figure in the right-hand corner. Um, that figure, it's funny because that stems from like a, a series of work that I've done. It's like the lonely me, but that individual represents any individual who's looking at that piece. Mm -hmm. You know, that's sort of like your entrance way, that's your relevance, that's you. So I had that tattooed on my arm, so that's me. Oh, but, wow. um, you know, that just represents the individual you know, taking his path in this whole information highway and this whole, you know, exchange of... And not, it's very, you know, like, industrial. Above him, it, to the left, it's uh, there's a, a street lamp. Uh, mm -hmm. There seems to be, like, a tower for some sort of factory or yeah. oil refinery. Those are different, um, I guess, structures from, like, all over the world. So mm -hmm. within that, you know, industrial pattern you know it's like pieces from like italy and pieces all right from, and mike you know, has Portland, arrived come on in we go. <laughs> all right, mike is here. we're, gonna sit we're just gonna sit you right here late. we are on the yeah. air right now How's come in Thank welcome now I'm have looking a at seat some other materials how are you michael Rell? welcome all right i'm just gonna put this on you and uh, we're looking is this relevant this is other things that are on your your uh, your yeah. your photo page so uh, this is beautiful i love the colors it's still it's a little bit different the other is like a wine color or coffee color and mm -hmm. here you have a rainbow yeah i mean it's you know it's the same concept of like washing mike did um he did all the backdrops to those pieces and then i you know scribbled and that's actually an installation that we just did at the New York Presbyterian um, the, yeah, in their in corporate Midtown. office. All right. Office. So we want to m welcome Mike Bucco now. Hello. Who has Hi. arrived and joined us. Hi, and Mike, uh, Mike is sitting there next to Johnny. Yeah, they and almost right. didn't want to let me in here. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I don't know who Johnny is. I don't know anybody. <laughs> yeah, like, what are you well, doing welcome here? to the show. Thank you you made it. Now. We're all together. <laughs> we got right. cable. Right. And yeah, we've we been have cable and internet now. We've already <laughs> talked pretty extensively about, about some of your work and show some pictures. We're going to show a movie in a little bit of you guys. Awesome making one of your uh, your works but we were we're taught we were basically talking about what you see on the screen and i'm going to go back to it in a second and so we can uh take a look at, and really give the viewers an opportunity to see what we're trying what you guys are trying to do so uh i'm just going through it and and, and this is this is the wh where were you saying this was this and is the, at the new york presbyterian corporate office oh, it's like one of Two pieces that they commissioned from us. That really? was and they let you like that's beautiful. get yeah, paint that on your walls and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it was part of the installation. Yeah. That was on the of Gradient. I uh -huh. love it. You know? Nice. It's really beautiful. And uh, here's more where it's it's that store style, and I can see the graffiti mm -hmm. style there. You yeah, can really definitely. see the graffiti, and you guys have your your roots in graffiti. Mm -hmm. Of course. It, it's, it, describe that. What does graffiti mean nowadays? I mean, I you know I was saying earlier I date myself, but I remember when people used to paint on trains mm -hmm. in the yards yeah. up in the Bronx, and then you would see the trains all over the city, and everybody would go crazy about it. But I thought they were so beautiful. Yeah, your era is what inspired our era, you know. Yeah. So your era was like the trains and the real like. It was like the um the tr like walking steps, you know, the baby steps to graffiti and just learning everything. For us, it pretty much translated into the street bombing and all that stuff. To now where it is today, it's kind of watered down and mm -hmm. it's not what it used to be. That's why we kind of well, like, they, shifted it, it our school energy. started to like have graffiti classes. Yeah. They, graffiti yep. used to be became <laughs> main, they decided to try and mainstream yeah. and co-opted yeah. to yeah. try and get mm -hmm. control. Cat's crew it. teaches a uh, you know a class at a at a Bronx school, so you know it's definitely you gone can learn to places. Graffiti now, right? Yeah, it's gone to places where it would have never been before. Now, did either one of you go to art school or study? Yeah, I went to um, or? the high school of art and design. Okay, not, not too far from here, and then um, I just got my degree in graphic design, like some. Uh, regular school, you know. I mean, I, I studied business. I mean, I drew, but you know, I studied business and marketing, and you know, uh, art was something I always did, and I always painted and drew, and you know, I always wanted to make a living out, out of it, mm -hmm. and you know, it was like a dream. But um, you know, we met. And Dreams do come true, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was a little the, the romance, you know, the the bromance. The bromance. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, that's actually Kim right there, my oh, girlfriend. The oh, oh, who's right. with yeah. us right here in this? Oh, hi. <laughs> and uh, she's off camera, but she's with us, and uh, and there she is. And now here's uh, this is so this is 
you know, if this is in New York, nothing is. I mean, there's even the police car down. It looks like, no, that's a taxi cab. That's a taxi cab. Yeah. <laughs> I did see the police car in one they of your artwork. Alone. They left us alone. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> right. So, yeah, that's one thing about, about graffiti nowadays. At least you don't need lookouts, mm. you know. <laughs> well, I guess it depends what you're doing. No, you actually do need yeah. lookouts, you know. <laughs> that never technology, ends, you know. You, know, you need uh, more technology. Right, right. With it. So, <laughs> how did you wind up, how did it go from... From uh, you know something that was fun to do to something that 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 you can make a living doing. That's actually a yeah. How did you go from the street into galleries? Galleries and stuff like that. I mean, for me, it was all the legal, the same, the legal aspects of yeah. it. I always loved art, and I always created artwork for like art's sake, you know. And I just figured I'd take the whole everything we learned in graffiti and just transfer it. Because after getting my degree, it showed me that. If you have a name for yourself and you go out there before you put out a brand, if you have a name for yourself, that can be the startup for everything. You know, That's you're right. following, you, you just grow a following and all that. So we just, just full-fledged, we did this, you know, the artwork. So. Mm -hmm. and, and then you came, uh, came across the Woodward Gallery, which is fascinating. I mean, the Woodwards yeah, are, are we're just talking you guys up. They just love it. And they're really like tastemakers mm -hmm. of, of a lot of art. Yes, so. they are. Yeah, we've they always really been fans of, of everything and how they conduct their gallery. Uh, for a big reason is that their gallery you have a lot of galleries who do it solely for the money mm -hmm. they love the art like yeah. when you speak to jonathan they woodward do, yeah. you know their so, passion he's yeah. exactly he's so passionate about the work so i've been in many shows when they he's have been a guest there. on the show and, has he? and, yes, and he his has. passion mm -hmm. has really you come can out see it, right? we like, love having him as a guest they're always welcome to come yeah, guests on it's the show. definitely an honor for us so let's remind everybody where this piece is that's up right now it's on eldridge street just below yeah, 133, delancey 133, 133 it's right across from uh the woodward gallery yep. where you should also their, stop in yes right. and check out their cafe because their their oh, sweets yeah. are watch out so for those puffs oh dear i've eaten well, they way too them, many they puffs. give them away free opening so hang out <laughs> <laughs> we've actually the first free. time we got puffs we brought them home and us three actually got into like an altercation like, don't eat my it's puff like, over right. whose puff that's my was. puff i want half of that <laughs> right. one and, this, that and that's one. true so this adorns the wall this is an interesting block that the the woodworks are developing really mm -hmm. on on it's an art block on uh, on elder street mm -hmm. it's, it's like just off below the beaten path of like where all the other galleries are centralized but that's good, another thing that makes them as well you know you know that that's that's why they are who they are there you go. This is beautiful too. Now, uh, is, you said earlier silk screening is part of what you do. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, love silk screen, you know the the imagery is you know they all derive from like our lives, our experiences, mm -hmm. what we see. You yeah, know, everything has been. relevance to us. Everything yeah. that so we put on our even parents. though you might see a generic Statue of Liberty or you know a bridge, like it has relevance to us. You know, like it has a story mm -hmm. and why it's there. So you know, we each have our own you know elements that we play with. Mm -hmm. And you know we combine and, and work together. And it's just to, that's also the love of the photography too, because we're constantly shooting. Like every day mm -hmm. we go out, we can take. Oh. This guy takes like a thousand photos a day, mm -hmm. so you know. So every, it just yeah. like enhances our library, our photo library, and we can just like mesh a bunch of different like imagery then combine them to make surreal environments. You know. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, I see that beautiful. Yeah, I really love the way you do that. Yeah. So we could we could have easily just taken a picture of a scene and just screen printed a scene. But for us, we'd like to do it use the hard way. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every yeah. element has to be personal. It's like I'm not going to put a car if mm -hmm. that car has no relevance. Yeah. You know, Mike likes to use a lot of automobiles and, you know, the cabs and the, and the, and the, the cops that he's used are the cops that we've run into, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. giving him a uh -huh. ticket, yeah. altercation. So uh -huh. they play a crucial role in our... They're survival. part of the, uh, and, and, you know, the they're part of the process. Now, what we about put the out movie, props Paul? NYPD for exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, Paul, paid, what about the movie? Paid, yes. We've paid um, like, <coughs> our tickets from the artwork that we've made from mm -hmm. the cop cars. You know, <laughs> well, I have, we have it the all film comes here together. And, um, yeah, because I want people to see yeah, this. This is oh, the story of the piece, the installation. We normally, we have like part of our conglomerate is like Hot Mop Films, and they do all of our photos, like all of our films. So... We almost cut the middleman out. That's what that's what our friend would say today. But we <laughs> filmed it. Me, Fernando, and my cousin actually filmed this, and it's like my first editing debut. So oh, we're right. pretty happy yeah. with it. So right this on. is Eye of the Beholder. Sorry, Dread. Sorry, we love you. <laughs> we love you, man. Hot my films. <laughs>
reckon it's pretty good. Wow, that was pretty cool to actually watch you guys do it. I haven't, you know, it sort of reminded me of Jackson Pollock, that movie about him. Yeah, you guys, him with the cigarette. Right, right. <laughs> I love it. Well, I think you guys are like uh, the next Jackson Pollock. I mean, it was great what you were doing. It's actually flattering. flattering. It was, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, one thing. Well, it's so interesting yeah. to see how something's done. And yes. when you look at a piece like that that's very Absolutely. complex, mm -hmm. it's hard to know, like, what what goes into it like is that brushed on is that painted on is that sprayed mm -hmm. on and, and to see that it's actually all these different things i think that's why the videos play such a key factor you know like people want to see what you do people just exactly. they want to yeah. see the process fascinated with the how and the exactly process, the process is what that. and even the dialogue that you hear like whatever dialogue or audio we may keep in a video it all has relevance as well you know right. so it's it just gets you more in tune with the artist itself and then it, and you have a great yeah, appreciation for the work. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes Definitely. you look at a piece just as is, and you're like, oh, that's red, and that's mm -hmm. paper, and whatever. You know, but you don't know, like, what it takes to create that, to look that way. And like, also, sort of you know. the milieu of where you created, I think, is so interesting, because you see, you have really a basically narrow little studio, yeah. and yet you've got this huge piece to kind of maneuver around yeah. there, and yeah, figure out, like, should we lean it studio. against the wall, put it on the ground, it will change off, and... And that's our largest piece to date, yeah, so, bit. you know, that's... Yeah. It's, well, let's remind yeah. everybody, you can see it down on Eldridge Street, just yeah, below Delancey. Yeah, 133 Eldridge. Mm -hmm. It's up right there. How long will it be up? I think it's up for more than, a, like, maybe yeah. two months, it's I believe. Oh, great. So you've got so ample the end of, opportunity. Till Mar the end it's, of March. it's right there on the street. I mean, you walk down Eldridge yep. Street, you oh, see it, right? It's outdoors. It's sort of high, you got to get up there. But, so it is amazing. So you were saying some things about, so there was a lot of firsts involved as far as this project. Yeah. It was the biggest project you guys ever did? N not to say the biggest project ever did, but one of the projects that we were, like, really, really honored to be part of. And yeah. it actually came out of nowhere. Like, it totally shocked us. Mm -hmm. so one of our friends um, recommended us. So when, like I said, we've always had a great respect for that gallery. So the minute they said, hey, you want to do our project space, we already knew and were familiar with what the space was. And we were like... Whoa, you're psyched, you know, right. you butterflies. So now, I noticed some of the techniques you use, like the projectors, for example. Yeah, that was yeah. interesting. Who, how'd you get? A, how'd you come up with the idea of the projectors? I mean, we've seen people use projectors along for like for a mm -hmm. while, and um, we never actually did it. So we knew how to take an image, yay big, and mm -hmm. blow it up. Blow huge, it up, big. You know? yeah. Yeah. So it we figured we try. We try to just yeah. do something different for the piece. It's like with everything, the conceptualizing mm -hmm. of the piece, techniques, mm -hmm. like. Right. So we just, there was a lot of first. It, now, it's like think? layers. What's oh. the original layer? How do you start it? Like, what's the, the first wine. layer? Coffee. I think the first, coffee. yeah, it was coffee. And then we stained with wine. Mm -hmm. And then we brushed with wine. And then we heated Poly certain thing. areas of it because it gave, it dried differently. Whereas mm -hmm. if you let it, if you let it dry, the sediments settle. And if you don't, whatever. So you different, different effects by drying it a different so different many way. Different you could burn effects, the wood as burn well. It, you know, you know, so some areas right. are like heated more. And then did it matter like the brand of coffee or wine or the uh, <laughs> no red, <laughs> red wine? The cheapest red wine. Did you get red the cheapest wine. or the bad red wine? No, no, we used uh, Bustelo Cafe. Yeah. Yeah. Bustelo. <laughs> That's a Spanish coffee, and we sure. used 
uh, Malbec wine, <laughs> if you want to be <laughs> right, uh, Argentina. There you go. Argentinian, Straight actually. from Art right. Basel. We got Straight a bunch of case, Basel. cases from Art Basel, so <laughs> we drove them great. in. Right, right. You know? Now, tell me about the aspect of it being in four panels. Now, the, did, did the that affect panel? how you conceptualized it, or did you conceptualize yeah. it as one piece and just cut yeah, it we, up? No, well, we definitely, like, because I laid it out on the computer first with the graphics, and I didn't know it was going to be four panels. We thought it was originally three panels. Two or three. Two. So we set it up, and then in order for us to actually project it, we had to have it separate in different sections. So when we started doing the first, like, the panel to the far right, and by the time we got to the third panel, that was the entire image. And we were like, whoa, we messed up somewhere. Oops, so basically what we did, we just, like, um, used abstract. the symmetry and the abstract part of it, and mm -hmm. we just flipped the, the, the right panel, and we turned it to the left panel, right. you know, but we mm -hmm. changed it as well. So that's what gives it, like, it gives it so much symmetry to the work, and it's so balanced, you know? And it has mm -hmm. a Rorschach kind of aspect, too, yeah. with those two like blobs blot. of black. Yeah. You're watching, looking at those, those blots where you have to, like, make say what make, it is. Yeah. Exactly. Right. What is right. it? A butterfly. <laughs> right, right. Two monkeys <laughs> having sex or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, you, whatever your brain mm -hmm. decides they are, right? Yeah, and I also get, like, a sense of almost, like, like it's just the movement of it, and, mm -hmm. the, and the, it's almost like a DNA like the DNA strand. It has that. Mm -hmm. Well, it has depth. Yeah, it and really it's the over does, and under yeah. of it, you know? Yeah. It almost it has a sense back of speed to and, it, mm -hmm. like yeah. you almost zip through it, you know? And every panel works, you know, works alone. Mm -hmm. Like you can hang, you know, each panel separately and it's a beautiful piece of art, but then you put them all together and it tells an amazing story. Definitely. So what's next to you guys? I mean, what, I mean, uh, what where are you going to go from here? This is a great achievement. I mean, it's really it like... Congratulations. You found a Thank way to do legal graffiti. Yeah, that's out on the streets for people to see. Mm -hmm. It's and been a great year. And I yeah, think it's like nonstop for us. Yeah, so. you know, we just hope to continue to, you know, to, to paint and mm -hmm. continue to, to work with, you know, such great artists and, mm -hmm. and people that we as artists look up to. Mm -hmm. um, I think if we continue doing that, we're yeah. fine. And I don't so see the momentum stopping because... Now you guys work Definitely in schools and, and do uh, you do motivational in, in elementary school and high schools? Tell me, tell us a little bit about that. So whenever we can, like like it's like cliche and cheesy as it is, the kids are the future, you know. So, and we do this because I remember me being a little kid and having um, career day, for mm. instance, and um, one of the guys, like a graphic designer from I think MTV, came into our school, and I was like starstruck, you know, because mm. he was talking about doing graphics and painting murals to put them onto MTV, you know. For us, like, growing up in the neighborhoods we grew up in, it's just getting out there and becoming famous was totally, like, well, far-fetched Where did us. you grow up? Where did you guys grow up? I was born in Queens and then became a nomad, so I'm all over the place. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Astoria, Queens, so I've oh. been there. I was there my whole life, and, you know, now mm -hmm. we're in Brooklyn. So we didn't have, I mean, I didn't have anyone to, to motivate me. Mm -hmm. You know, you looked at the streets. I mean, I, that, that was my... You know, my history books was mm -hmm. looking at the streets. It's like the, the carvings in caves. I mean, you look at a tag and you know that that writer wrote within this time to this time and his achievements. Like you mm -hmm. see a Picasso, you know, you know, so we're, we're just putting up our signatures and it, you, you choose how you're going to read it. Mm -hmm. You can look at his vandalism, you can look at his art. It's New York. This is kind of the way it is. And if you're in New York, you, you, you know, you got to bend in one way or another, and graffiti and art and history, I mean, that's all a part of it. Mm -hmm. And it's great um, to show these kids that, like, along with that being the art and the history, that they can actually <coughs> make a living from it. I spoke at this school in, um, in Bushwick, in my own neighborhood, and it, um, I, the classes were kind of crazy, you know, a little nuts in there. But when I started speaking, the two speakers they had before me were all suits and all that stuff, you know. So I came in looking like I was, and they're like, First of all, a little skeptic, and like, who is this guy? You know, what is he going to tell us about? And then I went to show him my brother projector as well, and showed him that me growing, I live two blocks away from you, and I still managed to like make a music video for like Styles P, or mm -hmm. make a v music video for, and work for Puff Daddy, and work yeah. for all this stuff. Fifty Cent, yeah, Fifty Nike, Cent. Yeah. You know, our resume is the resume is crazy. You know what it is though? It's like the ethic, the nonstop work ethic, and if you. Like, if you believe it, you can achieve it, you know? That's right. Again, as cheesy as that sounds. But who are some of your clients? That's, you have some interesting clients. I was looking at your clients. Yeah, they're, they're all across They've, the board. Yeah, VH1, yeah. we've worked for Nike, we work for Puff 50 Daddy. Cent, Puff Daddy, um, um, HBO. For doing things in their offices or at their homes and things like yeah, that. Yeah, but you know what it is? We're versatile. It's not only art. We, we'll, do, we'll do graphic design work. We'll do mural work. Uh -huh. We'll do um, merchandising work. We'll do... Um, 
like for uh, um, how to make it in America, the show. Yes. We were like stand-ins, you know. So oh, you were really. I was just watching that before I came down here. Yeah. The street art that they were hustling. Yeah. That was our work. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, so like you know, oh, we're, we're we've worked with a lot of different like Nike. You know. Oh, that's like, interesting. So we uh, we have about two minutes l left, but that uh, you guys are famous in one more way because you were just on national TV a little while ago. <laughs> On uh, what uh, NBC, right? Is that NBC was doing the Making in America, What's right? That? Is it? Oh, you know, HBO. Oh, HBO. HBO, yeah. Yeah. HBO, yeah. HBO right? Yeah. We were in the okay. news. <laughs> All right. Shout out to the news. Very good. So, uh, so folks, so let's remind everybody. For something positive. Yeah. Yes. We were in the news for something All positive. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I have to clarify that. Right. I must well, clarify that. can be positive exactly. too. It's not it was made out to be such a negative mm -hmm. thing in its original years, but it, it's it, it's yeah. it's the visual side to uh, to hip hop in a lot of ways. So let's exactly. remind everybody before we go about. Mm -hmm. If you want to see the work, it's out right now, exhibited on the street on Eldridge Street. It's yep. the Woodward Project, yes. exterior project. Space. 133 Eldridge, right off Delancey. Eye um, of the Beholder. Yes, Eye, Eye of, the, of beholder. the Beholder. You can't miss it. Now, to also, and remind can, everybody you of your also website. Check, us out. To, yeah. um, check our website, which is www.spellnewyork.com. So, urnewyork.com. And we got Facebook links there. Check out our gallery blog. Follow us on Twitter, all the social networks. Yes. You can follow us. You know? Mike works hard keeping our Twitter updated <laughs> and our website and all that. Please don't let that we be try. go to vain. We try. <laughs> Great. And but, uh, so what's, uh, what's the, last, uh, the last message you'd like to pass on to folks, uh, to young people who are artists and, and, you know, coming up in the hard streets of New York who might be... Uh, you know, seduced by the love of graffiti. Uh, how would you, uh, what, what, which direction would, do you think they should go? Just follow whatever path, like, yeah. you feel is right, you know, and never let no one say nothing, yeah. like, say, never take no for an answer, basically. Sky's the limit. My sister told me that when I was really young, and I followed that. And just don't be sheep and be who you are. Don't yeah. follow, be a leader, you know? Yeah. Okay. Things will unravel as they go. Just do what you love, and somehow it'll just all work out, right. you know? Well, That's Mike, it. and I just want to give a yeah. special thanks to oh, yeah. you know Hot Mop Films and you know Woodward um, and Matt Siren for and making this possible. Matt Siren and uh, everyone that loves us. <laughs> All right. Thank you. So long. Peace. Excellent.